Hey guys, I know I haven't made a video in a while. Just really got inspired to uh, tell you guys. Um, I had made a video <coughs> about a year ago. <laughs> Just giving my opinions on Wes Watson. Which um, I call him wet, white trash Wes Watson because really that that that's <coughs> excuse me that's what Wes Watson is. Um, Wes Watson, no matter how much money he has, no matter how much influence he has, no matter how many podcasts he's on, he is a low class, um, unsophisticated, just trashy human being, and Wes Watson. Uh, now is be is being exposed by a lot of people. I know I watched Matthew Fox has talked about him. Countless other big. I think Matthew Fox is a pretty, pretty intelligent guy. Pretty, you know, he he's somebody that that that's I think got a a pretty good sense of um, for people. And uh, you know. Now, my, my video came out before Matthew Fox is about Wes Watson and Grant Cardone and all these guys, but nonetheless, um, Wes Watson is white trash. Um, his followers are white trash, most of them. Um, they're, you know, these guys, whether it's Grant Cardone or uh, Wes Watson, you know, they're, they are, uh, they've basically become... Uh, members of a cult, you know, people that follow these, these these guys, and you know, Wes Watson is is one of the worst because, um, you know, when you have any, if you have any bit of like a, awareness or observance or kind of a deep sense of int of of your surroundings, you can kind of just look at a person and look at them in the eye and see what kind of what kind of person they are. You get a sense of their aura, their energy. And Wes just has a the aura of a bully and the aura of of a con artist. He is not somebody that has the best interest of his so called followers or the people that follow him that that, that sign up for his coaching. Um, you know, I, I've, I've, now he's doing, you know, these $10,000 masterminds at it it, it one of, you know, the supposedly his places that, you know, now are being found out that they're rented and these, you know, these guys full of tats, you know, they're, they're sleeved up with tattoos. They all have the same, you know, pathetic story of, Oh, I was addicted to drugs and I went to jail and I did all this and then I come from some trailer trash, broken piece of shit family and da, 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 da. And, you know, now because of Wes Watson, I'm coaching people and I got, you know, I'm making $500,000 a year or something ridiculous like that. It's just like, it's like every, they all have the same story. And look, you know, if, if, if Wes's story resonates with some people and it helps people get off, um, because there is a lot of stuff he says that I think is valuable. Um, but, you know, Wes tries to talk about things like integrity and serving the greater good. But all I see Wes Watson doing now is bragging about how many cars he has and how much money he makes and how expensive his house is and, um, you know... How, how many Rolls Royces he has, or whatever it is, and um, you know, all that's doing is making the so-called people that follow him just feel that much worse about themselves, but think that much more of him. So, see, you know, all of this is just about Wes Watson serving Wes Watson, just like Grant Cardone. And I gotta tell you, because I've met I've met Elena Cardone multiple times. I met Grant Cardone's wife, and let me tell you something. Uh, Grant Grant Cardone is a very little man, is a very small man, and so is Wes Watson. I'll go into another video about this, but um, you know, look, there, I get it. 
there's a lot of people in this day and age who don't have a father and they're looking for a, a surrogate father figure and somebody who portrays themselves like they're this super confident alpha male guy and and uh, you know and gives you that tough love that you know that you maybe you didn't have in that structure and discipline and then says oh you know I, I care about you guys I'm doing this for your for your greater good you know here's the difference if somebody really cares they're not they're not gonna build themselves up by by pushing by shitting on other people all right they're not gonna build themselves up by breaking other people down and saying how you know if 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 you don't have you know a Rolls Royce and if you're not making this amount of money then you're a loser like Wes Watson is only making money off of weak people all right he's making money off of weak people who are who are feeling powerless and who are desperate for some sort of you know of a father figure type person who's gonna you know apparently has the keys to the kingdom that they've always wanted and Grant Cardone does does the same thing and there's countless um, other of these guys out there that, 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 are, that are doing the same thing but you know I think Wes Watson is is, is, is the, the most egregious of them all just just for the way he he, he per, re, you know represents himself um, and it really you know anyone that would I mean look he has a lot of good things to say there's no doubt about that a lot of the things that he says are very good but if you're going to be a mentor if you're going to be a leader if you're going to be a positive role model like you you not only have to have a good message but like you have to be a good messenger as well and i just think that Wes watson is absolutely the last one of the last people i would ever want to look up to um like i said i don't care how much money he has how many followers he has i he, to me he's white trash he is a low class uneducated um fool of a man and he's he's a little he's a small man he's uh i think he's insecure i think he's weak uh, I think that he, um, you know, is is trying to gain the adulation and respect of his fellow man by by how much his by making his external world look so just so extreme and in, in, in comparison to the average person that that's the only way that he can feel a sense of of accomplishment, a sense of. Um, confidence and it's you know it's 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 a contingent based sense of self you know, he has contingent self-esteem he doesn't have real self-esteem um you know i'll just give you an example like you know my jujitsu teacher is one of the most deadly human beings i've ever met but he's an extremely kind respectful gentleman, sophisticated, um, honorable person. And, you know, someone like that is more, more capable than 99.9% .9 of people out there to absolutely destroy somebody. But he's, he, he walks and carries himself like an absolute gentleman. And, you know, Wes Watson is just somebody that is a narcissist, he's a manipulator, and he does not have your best interest at heart, so if you guys are following him, you need to fucking really check yourself and look at yourself, I'm, I, I do not doubt for one second that he has some valuable things to say, I've, I've, I have acknowledged that, but the type of man that he is, the type of person that he is, is um I think he's a I think he's a total piece of shit and I think you guys should really uh you know consider that further than you have I'm out